Rock and Stone to the Bone to all the amazing people and welcome to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. The Ancient Darkness Dwarfs, an amazing auto shooter in the AG universe that I'm enjoying a lot here. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video. I am uh, doing some late game content, masteries which were introduced in uh, update 03. Uh, have a couple of uh, Class mod master is left, then another bio mastery, and then a whole bunch of weapon masteries I want to get up to 5. And yeah, hopefully after I'm done, there's gonna be a new update and new stuff to do. There's also like these really, really hard anomaly runs. Uh, I'll also try some of those, but not yet. Anyhow, uh, last time I think I was playing Interrogator, so today it will be a scout. Classic scout mastery, okay. We'll see, dude, we'll see. We'll do our best. The GK2, that's not the weakest weapon ever, but it's not the strongest one either. I would say this is a perfectly balanced weapon. Somewhere, like, around the middle when it comes to, like, strength. Like, can it kill this thing, like, relatively fast? It's decently fast. So there are weapons I don't even try to kill this thing with. The the Hoarder. <laughs> Let's not call it this thing. Let's just call it the, the Hoarder that he is, that it is, or whatever. Anyway, uh, some weapons I don't even try to do it with, but uh, it seems like this one does decently against it. Although there's so many bugs right now around me that it might be wise to just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, let's go mine a little bit as the enemies disperse, so I can continue doing that more easily. Although the class mod mastery here, relatively small map. I should not be taking damage though, that's super bad. Because we don't heal in this mode. Well, hello, cryo grenade. If everything else fails, the, the cold, the freezing cold will keep us nice and alive and safe. Okay, let's go back for the hoarder. Ew, ew, bam. <laughs> See that turn? That turn, that was something else. Okay. Some more experience. Okay, let's see. 25 Nitra is pretty decent, I think. I'll grab it. And uh, let's see. Some movement speed. Because it's nice and rare, so why not? Whoa, I saw those Nitras flying towards me and I got so scared. I was like, what is that? Some kind of new hyper bug flying towards us. But no, no, it was just Nitra. Things spanned, spawned on the map and flying towards us. Guess, is it morning or is it evening for me right now? <laughs> Guess in the comments. I'm gonna say the answer in five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's morning, it's a good morning for me. A uh, little bit sleepy here, but hopefully I get wake, woken up soon because, well, enemies are not... No, that was bad. I tried triggering that, but kind of failed. Okay, some more damage. The more damage. Electrical overclock. Hmm... Or some more damage and reload speed. Let's go electrical. Reload speed for the cryo grenade. Okay, we got two elites. That's fine. I mean, I want to pick up this at some point, but I don't think I have to do it just yet. There we go. Uh, let's do like a little bit of uh, circles around these things. Get all the experience. I don't know. Did I pick up everything on the map? I hope I did. Let's get this. Overclocked also, maybe? Because this is just really bad, the, the common upgrade here. It's not really worthwhile to spend a level on it. Even though cosmetic is not something I like to take either, but... Some crit chance. Oh. Can I? Can I? Thank you. Okay, some more crit chance. Let's go. Like, getting to around 100 crit chance would be kind of nice. Oh, there's some good choices here. This weapon can definitely carry, but so can the frost grenade. So maybe I just take some knockback to keep me nice and safe. Say hello to our little friend. To my little friend. It's like a reference to like, I think an Al Pacino movie maybe? It's like a super old movie. I never watched it. 
But there is uh, like a short uh, like sketch from it in Home Alone. The second one, Home Alone, I think. The one in New York. Um, yeah, I don't think I need like the GK2 anymore. It did its job, so now I take health. Health really good for um, class mode masteries. Because like, since you cannot heal and since you can only heal in the shops, like your shop heals become more efficient if you have more health. So it's kind of really good. And then, yeah, I know that right after I got like basically the same offer, but it was only 10 HP. It was like great. So I was like, nah, that's that's a little bit too little. Okay. What level? 21. Yeah, I'm high enough level. Let's grab that. Yeah, it's funny how like... <laughs> I prefer to change based on the rarity of the stuff that's being offered. And like I really don't need potency for my grenades, so I think it might be time to just like drop this thing. Okay, well at least one is that this is very deadly in this mode. Um But I'll take it. And then the final weapon, Gra Drag. Okay, Drag's gonna help things a lot. Okay, so energy bars, they increase your damage dramatically, but also reduce your max HP a lot, so... We'll see. Some movement speed, because everything else is kind of crappy. Yeah, I think... Mm, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna try to like hang around the elites a little bit more so we can get them killed. I'm worried that enemies are just getting a little bit too fast for me. Okay. I don't want to get it too much. Like level 30 is kind of insane for the first stage. Okay. I'm a rarity junkie. Okay, sometimes I just on level up just click the highest rarity thing. Even though it's something that I don't really need. That's pretty good. Um, okay, I'm not gonna pick up any more experience as long as I get something useful, right? You go ugly, ugly. Mm, I don't like anything else here. Although this is kind of alright. Yeah, let's stop with experience. And let's get inside the pot. I'm starting to like learn how to do like... Um, reasonable things like smart things like don't stand on the ramp and farm it's like a recipe for disaster and stuff like that okay, these are kind of nice buying legendaries in shop it's not really good value for the money you pay for it i think this one overclock might be okay though Clip size and the cost of reload speed. I don't know, but I don't want another electrical weapon because then I'm gonna start getting offered electrical overclocks. And I wanna get carried by a grenade, not by these, but the game's like, hey, have some more shotguns and stuff. <coughs> um, I guess this is okay. Potency I don't want. Damage is good. Okay, I'll start taking some potency for the grenade just to get it overclocked to max. Uh, this is over. Uh, this roll is a bit expensive though. Uh, I think I'm fine here, just continuing. Let's save some gold for a. Uh, so I can buy some healing if I need to. For example, if I get super damaged, I can buy double healing in the next one or something like that. So far, this has been super easy. Like, I've just been playing a little bit poorly and. It's okay. It's such a wonderful, nice game. Like I play it like almost every day. If I don't play it every day, that means that sometimes I play it twice per day. <laughs> it's usually like one video of this every every day. I can't recommend it enough. It's such a nice tactical game. Look at how slow the enemies are. Like mostly about decision making rather than uh, super high reflexes and. Uh, and I like that, I like that. I'm getting older, so 
super high reflexes games are not for me anymore. There are some like things in this game where you need to have some reflexes for, but nothing super crazy. Like the salt pits are a little bit reflex based, especially if your damage is not high enough and you get a lot of those. Uh, what are they? Kronar? Kronar? The 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 roly dudes, the shellbacks. But other than that, like it's mostly just maybe I should have grabbed health there since it was blue. Yeah, I definitely should have, but okay. It's alright. Okay, I think I picked up all the mineables. Now I'm gonna get myself some room so I can more easily navigate the map. I'm getting some swarms. Oh. That was a bit weird. Yeah, I think I, ch I killed the... I killed the explode bug just as I was about to trigger it manually. And yeah, that sometimes happens if your damage is a little bit too high. So I should learn from this experience. Okay, let's go explosion radius. Damage to the terrain can be insanely good, in example in Biomasteries, I had a good example of that, but uh, <clears throat> in Class Masteries where map is small and there's not much terrain to break, it's not really that good, so... Okay... I'm gonna get out of here, get some experience, be careful to stay away from the explode bugs. Yeah, I'm gonna go for cry grenade here, even though it's lower rarity. Like that's one of my next priorities to get it, the cry grenade to max. <clears throat> I want to have really good reload speed on it, so it just keeps me alive and safe, so I can do whatever I want. Mm, let's take some more HP. I feel like I have what I need to win. It's just gonna be like, hey, do I make enough mistakes and lose, or? We have enough HP to soak it up. Okay. Mm. Seems like Drac, I will not have time to get to any reasonable level, so maybe we get this one maximally overclocked. Time's running out. Nah, it's okay still. Oh, I forgot about that. Good thing I, I went and checked. Fire rate. That's pretty good. Crit chance is also nice. What's my crit chance right now? 59%? I'll go crit chance. The fire rate's probably already good, right? 200%. Yeah, I could use some improvement, but... So can crit chance. Okay. Dude. I left so much stuff on the map. That's like a newbie, newbie move. Well, it would be a newbie move if I didn't go and check and pick it up. But since I did, I'm like, hey, Neo Mario, so... Something, something. Patting myself on the back. Time's running out. I need four more of these, but that's such a strong upgrade. So I guess we're going wide this run. <laughs> Usually not my main strategy. I like to go tall with weapons in this game. Tall means you... Focus most of your upgrades, if possible, into one weapon. Why it means you spread the upgrades between all the weapons and focusing more on rarity. But definitely having at least one weapon be maximally overclocked would be really, really good. Although this is just stage two, so I still have lots of time to do it. Oh no, that was so bad. Kawabunga. Hmm, yeah, my, my concentration is like slipping a bit here. Okay, let's go inside, I think. No farm mapping, he said, and then he does it anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in the end, they're like, okay, let's heal first so I don't forget. I definitely want that. I want some HP. I'm gonna grab potency here. Uh, I should have enough even if I buy that, so... Okay, and there we go. Okay, let's do the reload speed. 
Explosion radius is kind of cool. Pulls in enemies before detonation. Uh, this one's really nice also, but it reduces the damage of other weapons. I want this to be like a supportive weapon option, slowly grinding the enemies down. Not something that's going to reduce the damage of all the other weapons and just carry on its own. Because I did vent a little bit wide, right? So this is, th this is better for wide builds, I think. <clears throat> mm. Some movement speed might be nice. Okay, let's get this one also overclocked. Oh boy. They want to have this be my main weapon. No. Let's go wide. Grab that. No favorite on white builds. Please. Thank you very much. Let's get some more experience gain. I think I'm pretty much set here. I'll need like maybe a little bit more oomph. I noticed that my weapon upgrades, for example, if you check this one out, 200, 200, 250. That's not really where you want to be. You want to be like 300, 400 if you want to get carried by a weapon. So, But like if you look at this one, this one's four, 140. So if you add these numbers and these numbers, like it's around 400. Problem is that these are multiplicative between each other. So... It's not even close. Like it might seem that the drac is about this almost the same power as the GK2, but it's nowhere near. So yeah. Anyhow, <clears throat> some more reload speed. Uh, I think this is great value because in class mode masters you get these coupons which make things in shops cheaper. So usually if you just grab uh, money from the hoarder, uh, you can usually buy more upgrades than what is offered unless you get an artifact. If you get an artifact, I think it's usually a good idea to just uh, grab it. So, yeah. It's a swarm. So stage 3 swarms, they already are a little bit dangerous. So you need to respect them. And that means don't run around like crazy. But like stop, let them uh, pile up a little bit. And then once they are sufficiently piled up, then, then you can continue. Otherwise you'll get like cornered. Which is very, very dangerous. Increases the chance of making mistakes. Okay. okay, so... And this is also a dangerous thing. Like, another swarm value didn't really take care of the last one. So if they come from two different directions, might be dangerous. But I think I have the damage for it, so... Um, I'll just grab the goggles here. Now we should have like 100% critical chance. Yeah, it does reduce our damage a little bit, but mm, this is really strong. What's my reload speed on it? 211%. So this will really increase it by a lot. Now this is dangerous. Now I'm in like in a corner. Another swarm's coming. Uh, so this swarm will definitely corner me. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can sneak through there if this thing can die in time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna get out, get all the experience. Although, like, killing as much stuff here before the elites show up is actually a good idea. Uh, this is the downside of, like, having frozen builds. Like, I can't trigger the, the explode debugs properly on with my body, with vicinity. Vicinity? Yes, vicinity. And yeah, I just have to wait for the weapons to do it and hopefully I have enough damage to do it comfortably. Okay, let's get this one overclocked. Fire rate reload speed, damage reload speed. A little more oomph and gas rerouting. I think this is just stronger. Although I also suspect that there's like some kind of cap on fire rate if you have too much of it and your clip is not big enough that things just don't work out properly. Like... I don't know. I'm not still not experienced enough in the game to be 100% sure what I'm talking about when I talk about that thing, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go purple here just because it's purple. <laughs> Maybe not an optimal choice. I don't play this game optimally, most probably. Yeah, okay, let's grab that. But um, you don't need to, it's not that hard. Some weapons, weapon master is actually require you to like sweat a lot to succeed, but most of the other content is like quite tame, so. I really don't want that, and I also don't want that, so. <laughs> Movement speed. So the reason why this is not good, potency on frozen weapons just increases the 
like freezing amount duration whatever you really don't need it doesn't make any difference almost and the map is super small in class master so mining speed doesn't do much it might become be useful on the dreadnought to mine through the stalagmites faster i guess just because this is so weak i want to get this for stalagmites but you don't need it i don't think so but it might make a difference i don't know Also, it's gonna like make the start of the stage a little bit smoother and it's gonna be easier to clear up the place. Uh, but again, the map's so small, you would probably be able to do that anyway, so... Okay... So getting to the point where I'm not really taking damage anymore, unless I really do something super stupid, so... Level 57. This little experience I left behind would not really make any difference. I could have went and greeted for it, but nah. Okay, some, some armor might be good for survivability. And yeah, let's get a little bit more love for that. Shotgun I'm not sure about. Fire rate for all the weapons, probably good value. I'm gonna spend my Nitra here, so I took everything let's go stage four <clears throat> i think most dangerous stage in uh in uh, class mode masteries like uh the, the the swarms are super big and um basically like once the swarms start coming you just go from swarm to swarm because you need to clear it up because you usually get cornered but also by the time you clear out one you kill so many enemies that it gets to the next one there's no drop pod here either and uh, so that means you don't get like a moment of respite so what you mine before the first swarm it's usually like that's it and after that you need to do the rest of the mining when the elites come okay yeah i'm just gonna stand here clear it up a little bit Try to like look for a way out. It's kind of insane, isn't it? <laughs> How many enemies there are? Okay, and shooters are a little bit annoying. Okay, I'm gonna sneak through here. Okay, good. Get a better angle on things. And yeah, and I just killed this swarm, and now another one's coming. And if I would move into the map, like this new swarm will start coordinating me, and the old one would like i would run into it at some point so i'm just gonna stand stay here like continue clearing it okay maybe it's okay now if i go and try to mine a little bit but still not super safe yeah i don't know no i'm saying one thing and doing another Problem is the mine animals are in the middle of the map, and right now a middle of the map is not a nice place to be at. Okay. And get some nice explosions. The only thing I really need to be careful about are the shooters. I already got hit by like two of them. That was super bad, but that's gonna be pricey. Since you're gonna need to buy a healing uh, thing in the in the shop. Oops. I need to sneeze. This one. <laughs> ah. So yeah, I was blind for a moment there. <laughs> Good thing I didn't run into anything. But there's a pause in the game. Eh, pause schmoz. Okay. Yeah, my damage is kind of great. On some builds I really feel dramatically in a bad shape when this uh, second to last and the last horde comes in stage 4 of class masteries, but I have a really... Well, I'm just strong because I'm very high level and my weapons just do their job. Oh, look at that. It's an explosion convoy. Okay, get some more experience. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. Mm. 
So my nature of my weapons is such that I can keep elites alive for quite a bit if I want to by just staying away from them. Oh, hello. Mm, I mean, this is kind of cool, but like it's too late. I have three projectile weapons and a cry grenade. I think that's like actually an amazing setup. I'm getting a lot of projectile upgrades for all of them. Feels really good. Okay, things are getting a little bit dicey. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna like go around the horde here instead of trying to push through it. And grab some more experience down here and then straight to the pod. Do I want that? Uh, I kind of do. Uh, it was a bit greedy, but it's okay. Again, I don't need it, but hey. <laughs> That's such a nice such a nice thing to do. Like, that final... Like, let's try to get just a little bit more, you know? Feels good. I rarely pick one of these. Expense, I'm feeling lucky. Well, we didn't get lucky. lucky. I'm gonna do something epic with this. Something epic with this. And here we go, the final stage. Need to kill the dreadnought. I don't think I care too much if it's Fins or the real one. My setup will do pretty much well against any. Damage is okay, could be better. Um, okay, let's mine the place out to make it nice and clean for the fight. Very important. There is no crazy swarms here on stage 5. So you have time to like mine everything out and prepare. There are some elites coming out of eggs though, so that's a little bit dangerous. But as you can see, we mostly just freeze them all the time, so it's okay. I want this thing. There we go, what do we get? I'm gonna grab an artifact here. Now you might be like, hey, 50% reload speed. But if your reload speed is already that super high, so this would be like from 250 to 300, so it would decrease by one fifth. So it's like actually 20% more because it's additive, not multiplicative. And my bonuses from artifacts, uh, I don't have any bonuses from artifacts. So, 120, 1.22. So if I grab this thing, 1.11. So actually this thing that I picked up gave me half of the reload speed while also giving me all of the other stats. Definitely better. Like stats on artifacts are so much more valuable because they're more rare and they are multiplicative with all the everything else, so. I wonder what weapon will do the most damage in the end, like the DPS. It's like some very strong contenders. I mean, the the Cry Grenade is doing AoE, so it has an edge over the other weapons, but... The other weapons are more direct, especially against the Dreadnought fight. They're gonna be more focused damage rather than spread apart. Hmm. And then there you have Drak versus the GK2. The GK2 is like much better leveled, but the Drak in general is much stronger weapon, so it's gonna be interesting to see how those two like compare. Oh no! Dude. I was so bad. I guess I have the damages then, yeah. I was just mining Nit Nitra, I didn't even notice that. Uh that I'm shooting the egg. So I got the Dreadnought out before I want it. So now the map is full of debris that I can run into and get squashed if I'm not careful while he's jumping on me. Ugh. That was not good. Okay. Whoa, dude, that's toxic. <laughs> I'm trapped. Can't get out of here. 
No, this is why it's important to like clear everything out. Okay, if I can get like a well leveled rack would already like take care of it. Okay, I'm almost done here. Okay, run into a exploded thing. Okay, let's get out, move away from the jump, get down, and we're almost done. Can we get some bullets into it, please? There we go, finally no enemies, so we focus the boss. Uh, it was not the cleanest fight ever, like, triggering it too soon was definitely a mistake, but hopefully still enjoyed me acing it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, look at all the experience we left behind. Uh, okay, so yeah, this was definitely carrying me, the energy bars. You need one of these artifacts that give you a lot of damage multiplication, otherwise it's super hard. When we look at DPS, yeah, the drag just didn't get enough levels to be really powerful. Um, I wonder how this DPS is calculated. This is, like, is it, like, <laughs> for the whole run or what? This looks a little bit like... Like, 5 million is 5,000 DPS and 15 million is 13,000? That doesn't look right, right? Like, this should be more. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I did have this weapon for longer, so that's what skews it. But I'm wondering sometimes if they just take the numbers from, like, the last stage or something. I don't know. In any case, it went well, every weapon kind of performed, and together they did just well enough. 38 million damage total here, pretty fast, around 19 minutes 30, level 66, execute order 66. And we have one more class mod mastery to go, and after that I'm going to do the last bio masteries and then the weapon masteries. So yeah, hopefully enjoying these episodes, if you are, yeah, like, subscribe, have a wonderful day, do some nice things, be kind to each other, and uh, let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of DRG Survivor. The Niemer signing out, rock and stone to the bone. Bye bye.